Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's build is the Purple 215 by Real ACC. The story behind this build is that I, I got in on that anniversary sale that Banggood was having and I noticed this frame on there for $19. And I've seen it for $19 since then. So I want to make sure that you understand this video is not clickbait. Um, the prices I got during the anniversary sale, I've actually seen those same prices after the anniversary sale. Um, Banggood is always having a sale. They're, they're always having coupons. So these prices really shouldn't be unusual. You should be able to do, you know, pick up the, the same components for the same prices. So I, I put this into the basket and I thought to myself, would it be possible to build a five inch quad with name brand components? Okay. For under $200. Now I know there's an RTF quad out there recently that have gotten, you know, it's gotten rave reviews by some of the review sites out there. And when they first debuted that quad, it was 150 bucks. It was unbelievable. And since the reviews, they've jacked up the price to over $200. So this build can still be done for under $200. And it's, it's a very simple build. So let me show you all the other components. So I got this frame, like I said, for $19. Okay. And this is the frame right here. So as you can see, they, on the purple 215, they used a lot of the same de designs as, uh, they kind of used, I think the, the, um, Japalura 130 for a design inspiration, because you can kind of see there's a little bit of similarity here. But not really too much because the Japalora, this is a 130, has a lot more room here for a stack. In fact, it has a lot more room for a camera, for a stack, and everything else. This is a 130. This is the 215, and you can see here there's really not much room here. And there's really not much room between the rails here. So I kind of knew that going in, and I knew that, okay, I'm pretty much building a 130 with five inch props is what is kind of what it comes down to because there really isn't a tremendous amount of room here so i had this in the cart i started looking around the banggood site and i also picked up this here this is the hglrc f3 version 4 pro board i've had really good luck with this board um i had this in my adam v2 poor man's build that i built last uh it was last year or i know actually it was last um march is when I built that and I've had hundreds of packs um, through the this uh, all-in-one FC and I will say I am very impressed with the performance of it HDLRC was the first company to actually include pretty much everything you need on one board besides the ESC's so this has an F3 flight controller chip in it it also has a VTX and a very good VTX is that at that um on board along with an osd a pdb and a five volt bec all right here in this nice little tight package so it makes for a very quick builds um, because it's an f3 flight controller chip you don't need any special drivers or nothing like that for beta flight you can just uh just hook up your osb cable and you're and you're ready to go so nothing really special about having to hook this up and, and updating to uh, 3.2 Okay, so I picked this up for $24, and I've seen it for $24 a couple of times, actually, this, this last year. So it's really not that special of a price. I also picked up this little Pagoda antenna for around $4. So there you go with that. So it's a little sh on the short end. I don't know how long it's going to last, but, you know, for 4 bucks, who cares? Um, I also picked up these here. These are the Raystar 30, RS30 amp ESCs. Um, you know, guys have had some pretty good reviews on these, so yeah, why not? You know, I, and I picked these up for nine dollars a piece. I don't think that's really too much, too special. I've seen them also for nine dollars a piece before, so I picked up four of those. Um, and I also picked up these, these are the Emacs uh, 2205 2300 kV race spec motors. Uh, picked up four of these for thirteen dollars. And then that's pretty much it on the on the bang good stuff that day. I picked up the little run cam micro swift from um, gotheliRC.com for $30. And I know it sounds kind of funny to have like a little swift micro on a, on a five inch build. But once again, if you really take a look at this, it's really not that funny at all. I mean, it fits right in here, so it won't look that bad at all. I mean, you could put a full size camera in here and it's been done, 
but the lens kind of sticks out here and I like my lenses to be um, covered so I like to have protection I go through a lot of cameras so it would be nice not to be able to do that the the run cam micro swift you know a lot of people are flying it. it's a it's a great little camera as long as you just don't touch the lens don't touch the lens it comes focused don't play with this don't don't, don't mess with it at all it's very loose inside inside the housing and once you start messing around with it then then good luck to you um for the receiver i got this here this is the new um fr sky um r dash xsr so i'll be putting that in so a lot of light components going into a five inch build and um oh yeah and also too i want to i want to point these out i got these little uh, soft standoffs here for a couple bucks as well so i just wanted to point that out too so i'll be soft mounting the fc it's not really necessary with an f3 but why not you know um all of these components here come to around about 170 to 180 dollars i am um, like i said i don't think the pricing is really that special i've seen it a couple i've seen all of these prices a couple of times since that anniversary sale so so stick with me and oh i wanted to point out too is um yeah, I wanted to point this out too. You can see the thickness difference between that. So this is actually really robust. I mean, it's going to take quite a bit, quite a bit of abuse here. And because it is shorter and stuff, yeah, I think this is going to take a lot more direct hits on the top here and not bend. And we already know the Joppalore is a damn good frame. So this is going to be pretty robust here. So join me with the build. Um, and uh, I'll go through all this. It should be a pretty damn quick build here. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.